If spending the day in one of the coolest towns in America on a beautiful fall day while eating chocolate and then maybe even shopping a little sounds amazing to you, then stay tuned to find out what this chocolate walk in Littis, Pennsylvania is all about. Seriously, it's chocolate all day long. So whether you eat chocolate slow and steady while savoring each little bite like this, or your adrenaline kicks in and you eat chocolate as fast as you possibly can, or maybe you really, really love chocolate and it's literally written all over your face, you need to check out this amazing chocolate walk in Littis, Pennsylvania. Welcome everybody to this very special and very sweet video about the Littis Chocolate Walk in Littis, Pennsylvania. This is within Lancaster County. It's kind of north and west of the middle of Lancaster County, just east of Elizabethtown and about 25 minute drive northwest of the Birdham area. This wonderful chocolate walk is held every Saturday before Columbus Day in October. It is a complete charity event. All the ticket sales go to all sorts of children's charities throughout Lancaster County. So double prizes you get to have chocolate all day long and you get to support the local kiddos so what else could be better than that and on, on a saturday in october so this year there were 33 stops along this route you prepay for a ticket and pro tip these tickets sell out every year they have about 2,000 in capitat uh, we met a new friend connie while we were there and she became part of our clan but she was alone because her friends waited too long so don't wait too long uh, they sell out every year and the tickets do go on sale July 1st. We paid about $47.50 for out-of-towners. Like if you're buying online, you're gonna pay a little more, a little bit of fee. Then you pick it up the morning of the walk. If you're from around there and you can go to Linnets, you'll save some dollars by purchasing at certain um, locations that's listed on the website. This was their 21st year doing this. If any of you have been there for all 21 years, I'd love to hear about all your experiences. It was a delicious day. They have not just like, some random chocolate at these at these stops there's chefs from around the county there's bakers there's ice cream stores there's candy makers so they are it's really good stuff um and i'm going to get into what we tried and some of my favorites uh throughout the video a few things you get to help you along the way you do get a map to kind of show you a way around um, i'm going to have a copy of this in the video but here's just a quick look at it so little springs park was right here if that helps you out and then you know, Main Street's here, and then North Broad Street runs this way. So we'll go over this more throughout the video, but you get this map, then you get a booklet, super helpful. And don't judge me because I have chocolate on here because it just means I had a really good time. So I'm not ashamed that there's chocolate smudges <laughs> on this booklet, but it's like uh, sections about each stop and the place where it's at, as well as the people who prepared the food. So quick wardrobe change because my jacket that I wore that day still has my button on it. So you get this button, and this ticket to prove that you have bought your ticket to participate in this event. So I might just keep this thing here for like indefinitely. <laughs> so this is your ticket. I dare say the golden ticket because if you lose this, they're, you're out of luck. They're not gonna replace it. Uh, unless someone hands it in, that's why you put your name and phone number on here. But on the back, see all these stations? You get all these checks every time you go through a station. They check that you went through there. So that's how they keep track of and you keep track of what you actually done. So I'm just looking at this ticket right now and I realized a couple things. First of all, it's $45 through September 5th if you buy it in person, um, $50 after September 5th, same criteria. And then if you're online purchasing, it's $47.50, which I told you already, through September 5th, but then $52.50 after September 5th. So another reason to not wait to get them early. Get them before, the, I would get them before August if I were you, honestly. But back to the walk. So I said, I think it's from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Saturday before Columbus Day every year. They say it takes between three to four hours, depending on your group, to get through the walk. So I will say there were seven of us and we were on a mission. We had a really good line leader who kept us on task. And so it took us about three and a half hours to do all but about three stops. We skipped one purposely because we didn't really care to have ice cream at that point. And we couldn't find another one. And then two other ones we were going to get back to, but then we just kind of ran out of time to get to our next place we were going to in Lancaster. So all that to say, yes, I would say three or four hours is a good estimate. If you want to spend time in the shops though and look around, which we didn't really do, I would say it's going to take you five to six. And that's part of the fun is enjoying the beautiful shops. A lot of these buildings have been around since the 1700s and 1800s. So you're going through some really special buildings and it's just really neat to see the local businesses and the local bakers and candy makers and chocolatiers. So it's a really, really special day. Don't wanna rush through it. Um, highly, highly, highly recommend. I would say of all the things I've done in Lancaster, 
It's definitely within the top five things I would suggest to do in your lifetime, at least once, and I dare say you'd probably go back over and over again. A couple pro tips for you. First of all, it is definitely the most crowded between 10 and 12. We had lunch there and got done about 2.30. It was a lot less crowded there. You have till four, so you might wanna adjust your schedule if you wanna avoid some crowds. But the biggest pro tip I can give you is to bring a container. Um, I'm going to show you a picture of these of this thing I saw there. Uh, these ladies had these tackle boxes with separate compartments labeled with their chocolate walk. They went all out. It was the coolest thing. There actually were several people who had containers like that, like big containers, like cake containers. It was genius. So we might just have to do that. But yeah, having like compartmentalized containers, that would be the best bet. Sometimes you do get samples that are pre-packaged but most of the time you do not they're fresh like in a little cup so um and something you have to eat if it's ice cream or milk or whatever but a lot of them you can compartmentalize into a container so bring a good container super good tip and water if you're gonna get thirsty with all the eating and walking so make sure you have water okay last thing i did not get any video footage on this trip it had been very hard especially the first timer to hold that gimbal and collect my chocolate and put things in my backpack and get my drink out and all that stuff so Got some pictures to look at. Hopefully that gives you a good sense. So enjoy the video. And at the end, if you want to see me sample some of my leftover chocolate, stick around, uh, let you know how it is. So we're going to start with parking. Get the first thing you need to do when you get here. And there's a few spaces that are designated for parking. The biggest of which I believe is this one. It's behind the Liberty Mutual building, the very big building along um, Broad Street. Uh, we parked behind here. And then if you keep looking straight ahead there, that's where Liddit Springs Park is. So you just go down through this parking lot and take a right, and it's gonna take you right to the area where you pick up the tickets, which is right here. So the red arrow is where we parked, and then you're gonna see another arrow, which is the headquarters, which is the tent where you pick up your tickets when you order online ahead of time. Here's kind of a, a little video I took in the summer, uh, but right there where the arrow is pointing is where the tent would be when you come to pick up your tickets, right there in the front of the park. And you do line up to get your tickets according to the first letter of your last name. So that's helpful for those who are coming here. It makes it go a little faster. So here's just another little walk up the road. Uh, we're going south on Broad Street, actually. And to the left there, you're going to see Main Street. And that's where the majority of the stops were. A lot of them were down this Main Street, literally called Main Street. Uh, so that's where we start um, our walk, which I'll get to in a second. And then you go up and down Broad Street as well for a lot of your stops. So those are the two main roads you're on. This road here, Broad Street, and then Main Street right down there. So like I said, we started going down Main Street, and our first stop was actually number 11. And so I'm going to show you that first. Here's just an actual map of it to give you a kind of broader view of where we are. The first stop was the Bunyad Marketplace. And it had a whole bunch of gifts and um, rugs and even some ornaments. And they had Christmas trees in there. But here you get a really delicious crepe. Um, to start off our first snack. The second place we went to is Cherry Acres, which is a beautiful reclaimed barnwood furniture store. It was a gorgeous store, probably my favorite store, but we were in all day. Um, and we got here was my favorite thing, not just my favorite thing, but all of us agreed it was the most delicious snack we had all day. And I didn't think it was gonna be, but it was the chocolate sandwich. It was so delicious. A chef was actually making it, which makes it even better. It was probably why it tasted so good, but it was delicious. It was our favorite for sure. Okay, so I'm not going to talk through this entire little tour here. I'm going to show you pictures of the storefronts as best as I can and then tell you what this place is and then what we had at each stop. So enjoy this little slideshow here and it gives you an idea of what it looks like and how beautiful it is and how much fun it was. If you are watching this, you're going to see a few comments here and there about what we thought about those specific snacks, whether it was good or bad.
those who want to watch me eat and make a mess of chocolate enjoys. This is, I don't know, it looks like a little um, shortbread actually dipped in chocolate. I think this is on North Broad Street at, I think, stop six or seven, I think. Let me see. Okay. So another pro tip, don't wait um, four days to eat your samples because it's a little stale, honestly. It's kind of like a shortbread crossed with a graham cracker, I would say, a chocolate. It's good. Even better, fresh, probably. So, this next one, I remember where we got this. We got this at the brewing company. It's kind of like a chocolate coffee cake. It looks gross, I know, because I smashed it, but it was really good then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a uh, stale too, which I should expect that because these were already open. So, my best bet's the ones that are sealed. We'll go to the next one. So, it's like a maybe a chocolate Oreo. <clears throat> we'll see. It's gonna be hard to beat, I think, with the rest of the samples. So I'm saving the rest of that one. Okay, next was these little like chocolate pieces inside a cup. Mm. Mm. It's actually really good. I'll try to remember. Let's do this video because I'm kind of going back and forth in this production, but I'll try to make a text down here of what this is. It's pretty good if I can figure it out. Okay, next, it's like this pretzel bark with um this big chunk of chocolate with pretzel and white chocolate on it we'll see mm. see this is a little bit stale too um it's a lot of chocolate i mean a lot of these samples were like this they were so heavy in chocolate that there's no way you could eat your way through this thing the whole day you need like milk or coffee or something how balance it out but it was good been better i think fresher uh but maybe like Three and a half out of five, maybe. This is definitely a five out of five, by the way. <laughs> this little chocolate piece here, I would say like three and a half out of five as well. Okay, that coffee cake thing when I first ate it was a good four out of five um, back on Saturday. Okay, this is gonna look gross to you, but I'm still trying it. So it's like a brownie with chocolate and maybe caramel on it. This is good. Um, it's not as like stale as the other ones, but it's a little bit unfresh, so it would've been better, I think, if I ate it <laughs> earlier. Been a little busy, but um, it's pretty good. It's very moist and rich. It's like fudgy icing with like brownie and a little bit of nut, so good. Okay, last thing is from Emma's Popcorn. We've been around for a long time. I mean, popcorn. Mm. Oh, good. Again, this is probably the worst food review you ever watch on YouTube because I waited too long. Um, but just didn't get a chance to do videoing to do video stuff between now and then. It's good. I would give that probably a fresh five out of five, but you know, it's not fresh, so which is my fault. A very good job. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a lot of chocolate. I consider myself a chocolate I mean I usually have a little bit every day. And even I couldn't keep up this day. There's just so much to eat, uh, but it is a beautiful day, beautiful town, fall, one of the best, if not the best season, in my opinion, it's the best season, so please give this a try, it's so much fun, and I hope you got a good taste of it, good look at it, and you go next year, so thanks for watching, enjoy your next chocolate adventure. If you did go, and you are watching this video, leave me a comment below about what your favorite thing was, mine was, by far, that chocolate sandwich, and that was by a chef, so not surprising. That was stop 12, so it was delicious. Um, actually, the next best thing was the chili with chocolate. Um, that was, I think, well, well, it's either stop 29, 28, 30. Again, I'll put it down below. That chili was delicious. Big chunks of vegetables. If you don't like big chunks of vegetables, you wouldn't have liked it, but the flavor was outstanding. Probably the best chili I've ever had. So those are my two big winners is the chocolate cookie or the chocolate sandwich and the chili, but a lot of the other ones were <laughs> right up there, like a second place. It was so delicious. So a wonderful time with friends and family. Again, thanks for watching. Enjoy your next chocolate adventure. I'm gonna finish this bad boy. It's so good. But I need to get some milk. I'm not a coffee drinker, so I'm gonna get some milk. See you later.